expectant mothers go through many changes over the course of nine months, and it seems the Duchess of Sussex is experiencing a common side effect of pregnancy, an altered belly button. Meghan is wrapping up a three-day visit to Morocco with Prince Harry, and attended a dinner at the British ambassador to Morocco's residence in Rabat last night, wearing a cream caftan-inspired Dior number. As the fabric skimmed over her tummy, it highlighted that seven months pregnant Meghan's belly button has popped, and turned from an innie, inward, to an outie, outward. It is normal for belly buttons to change during pregnancy, and it usually happens late in the second trimester or during the third trimester. An outie belly button suggests that the baby is using all the space it can in the uterus, pushing against the mother's abdomen. Bikini pictures taken during Meghan's first wedding to producer Trevor Ingelson in Jamaica in 2011 reveal that Meghan Markle's belly button was an innie. The change is only temporary, once the pregnancy is over, her navel should go back to its natural form a few months after the delivery. Meghan previously revealed during a visit to Merseyside that her baby is due at the end of April or early May. Asked about her due date while greeting crowds in Birkenhead on 14 January, Meghan said the baby would come when it is ready and added that her and Harry were very excited. During the same visit to Birkenhead, the Duke and Duchess said they didn't know whether they were expecting a boy or a girl. It's been a busy time for the Duchess who last week celebrated her baby shower in New York with A-list friends including Serena Williams and Amal Clooney. The lavish celebration was held in the The Mark Hotel's incredible Grand Penthouse Suite, which costs a staggering $75,000 per night, making it the most expensive hotel room in the U.S. No sooner had Meghan returned to London than she was off again to Morocco with Prince Harry for a three-day official tour. Sunday saw Harry, 34, and Meghan travel to the town of Ansi in the foothills of the Atlas Mountains to visit a secondary school and meet pupils. The Duchess, who impressed by speaking in French, also took part in a traditional henna ceremony. The royal couple, then spent the evening mingling with captains of industry, military officers, disabled athletes and young business leaders at the British. Issuing a clarion call to feminists, Meghan told a group of female executives and entrepreneurs that women around the world need to push the boundaries to advance their cause. Women have to challenge everywhere in the world, she said. The evening event was hosted by British Ambassador Thomas Riley and his wife Leah at their official residence in the capital of Rabat, a city which has been rocked by riots in recent days. This morning, the couple began their third day in Morocco with a visit to the Moroccan Royal Federation of Equestrian Sports. The couple were there to learn more about the country's developing program of equine therapy for children with special needs, funded by King Mohammed who Harry and Meghan will have an audience with later today. Next stop was a cookery demonstration with underprivileged children in the capital Rabat, before a visit to the social entrepreneurs event and market in the Andalusian Gardens.